Today we're going to show you what to do when little moths start flying around the kitchen. What are these things? Where do they come from? 99% of the time you're looking at an Indian meal moth that you brought back here from the pet shop or from the grocery store. It was already there. It could have been an egg that was laid, but what happens is that egg's gonna sit there for a little while, eventually hatch into a small little worm. The little worm is gonna go out and it's gonna form a little cocoon, just like a butterfly will. And what comes popping out of a cocoon? A beautiful Indian meal moth, about that long, and comes flying around the kitchen looking for a partner. Ground zero, right here. The pantry, typical kitchen pantry. So what do we need? The most important tool that you need to use on a pantry moth hunt is a flashlight, okay? And if you're short like me, you need a chair. What are we looking for? Well, we're looking for any little larvae, okay? Which is gonna be, a, which is a small white worm with kind of a dark colored head. It's about this long, maybe three eighths, five eighths of an inch. The other thing you're gonna to have to do today, we're gonna to have to take everything out of here. Okay, that didn't take long. We got everything out of this pantry, except the pantry moth pest. I'm gonna use this pantry moth trap to monitor what is going on in case we miss something while we're cleaning things out. The nice thing about doing a pantry moth job is you don't really need insecticides, but you do need a pantry moth trap. And this is not just a sticky trap because pantry moths are kind of unique in what they need. And just like everybody else, sex is a big part of what they need. And so we're gonna give every little male that pops out as a pantry moth adult, we're gonna give him a little pantry moth sex pheromone. And when he flies over to hook up, he's gonna get trapped in this glue. <clears throat> Honey, can you put all this stuff back now? The word got out we were doing this work, and pretty soon the phone started ringing, and now we have found a kitchen that's got a classic infestation. Let's take a look. A lot of these have probably recently hatched, so a lot of these guys have already come out of their cocoon, and they are flying around creating a big mess in this kitchen. So we're gonna trap them out and get rid of this problem. And that's it. End of the pantry moth pest problem.